All right, it's crunch time this Sunday. The two big games to figure out who is going to the Super Bowl. The New England Patriots and Tom Brady will face off against Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos at 3.05 p.m. Eastern Time in Denver. And in the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals take on my hometown Carolina Panthers in Charlotte at 6.40 p.m. How about uh, Dallas Cowboys' Tony Romo is falling victim. Hey, a lot of people are saying you packed on the pound yeah, in the training camp. <gasps> now, you know, Twitter, as you can imagine, super snarky, the snarkiest of snarks. So petty. Look at this. Now I know where Tony Romo <laughs> goes oh, after home. practice. That's Donald's. That's clearly photoshopped Here's after another McDonald's. One. Okay, this was my run. favorite. Tony Romo went from committing turnovers to oh, eating wow. bad. If you are a professional athlete and you are paid and, and franchises depend on your fitness, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you absolutely, absolutely. deserve the respect to receive the critique around this. There's been a lot of great rhetoric around it, and certainly it's encouraging, but we have to see if the league follows through with action. Yeah, definitely. Now moving on to the other big sports story, Aaron Hernandez. Uh, he quickly, what do you think the defense has in store? They're going to bring up the big thing the prosecution doesn't have, and that's a murder weapon. Uh, despite all investigators' and, uh, efforts, they have never been able to recover the gun that mm -hmm. actually killed this gentleman, and that's a big deal. Juries want to see bodies. They want to hear about motive. It's not required, but they like to know it, and certainly they want to see that murder weapon in front of them, and right now prosecutors just don't have that. Yeah, Until you've got that literal smoking gun, there's always going to be some room for doubt. But that's once we get to trial. In terms of a grand jury, I think we've got no question they're going to return an indictment. Yeah. And that's the burden with being first, right? When you're the first kind of developing country to set the stage, now the expectation is so low that it is going to impede those other opportunities from Wait, other countries. All right, go? Ebony, I'll start with you, your boy Colin Kaepernick. Why it got to be my boy? I'm sorry. You're not but, even my quarterback. But it really is. <laughs> it, it really so it's called a protest vote for a reason. You know, the operative word there is vote. I'm someone that believes in the right to a protest vote, both as a lawyer and a black American. I don't think you have to accept scraps from the table if you are dissatisfied from the candidates that you have at your disposal. You have options of third party and write-in candidacy. But when Colin Kaepernick says he's not even registered, it tells me, Charles and Tammy, he's not serious about even leveraging what the political voice he has uh, e even represents. And that's something I cannot excuse. Tammy, I don't